Welcome to Sonic World Video Solutions. My name is Kritika Nakshatri. Today, we will demonstrate how to configure static route on a Sonic World UTM appliance. To configure the static route, we need to identify the network we need to route to, the gateway or the router that connects from Sonic World to the routed network. We need to create address objects and configure the route policy. The scenario that we are considering for demonstration today is a NAT-enabled SonicWorld UTM appliance configured with the LAN IP of 192.168.168.168 and the computers on the LAN network are on a similar IP range. The IP address of the local router is 192.168.168.254 with the gateway IP as 192.168.168.168 which connects to another network of 10.10.20.0. Today for demonstration we will use a NSA220 with the firmware 5.9.0.3. As a standard practice go to the system tab settings Click on Export Settings to take a backup of the existing settings on the firewall. Next, go to the Network Address Objects. Choose Custom Address Objects on top. Click on Add. You can name the object as per your requirement. For example, 10.10.20.network. Zone Assignment can be set to LAN. Type will be network. Network is 10.10.20.0 and the subnet mask 255.255.255.0. Click on add. We need to add another address object for the LAN router or the gateway. Name this as per your requirement. In this case we use LAN router. Zone assignment is LAN. Type is host. IP address is 192.168.168.254. This is the IP address of the router that connects to the 10. network and only through this router we can reach the routed network. We now have an address object for the required destination. If multiple networks exist behind the same router, you can group the address objects for the destination in one single address group. Next, click on Routing. Choose Custom Policies on top. Click on Add. Source can be any. Destination. Specify the address object created for the destination 10.10.20 network. Service will be any. Under Gateway, select the address object created for the LAN router. Interface is the X0 on which the router is located. Metric can be set to 1. Rest of the settings are at default. You can add a comment if required. Click on OK. The configuration is now complete. Here, the destination network and the subnet mask must define a logical subnet which doesn't overlap with the LAN subnet. The gateway must be local to the LAN. The router at 192.168.168.254 must have a default route pointing to the firewall's LAN IP address which is 192.168.168.168 for the routed subnet to be able to access the internet through the SonicWorld's connection. To test this route, we'll now ping one of the computers connected to the 10.10.20 network. The system that we are on right now is on the 192.168.168 network. We'll ping one of the computer 10.10.20.10 So the route is now working. We have come to the end of this video. To learn more about configuration of static routes, please visit sonicworld.com. For more video tutorials, visit software.dell.com support. Thank you for viewing.